I am going to show you how to uh, start with just, I mean, I'm starting with, with scratch. So I want to start with absolute scratch. I want a, a, a blank WordPress with a blank theme on it uh, so I can start with just everything all aligned left with just text. I want nothing. So I actually have a theme that I use for every, every single one of my WordPress installs. I use the same bare bones theme and it's called the Starker's theme but I, I tweaked it a little bit and it's the Starker's HDMI 5 theme and I also integrated um, WP less into it. It's a plugin called WP hyphen less and so I can use less CSS the preprocessors less CSS preprocessor inside like on my live site which is very convenient for me because I make so many changes that I, I need it live because I can't work locally uh, it's just it's too inconvenient right now because there's no real good solution to work locally with WordPress after you first make it you know and doing just constant updates uh, it's just right now it's not it's not happening so I work live I'm still looking for a good way to work locally. If any of you guys know a, a good way to work locally with while syncing a WordPress database so that you can work from your local, it's just so it syncs and that when I make a change, it you know it automatically keeps the database up to date and all the files up to date on my local computer so that uh, I can work locally, but it's not you know I have to push it live so. Anyway, here's my WordPress, and I also integrated a response, uh, a responsive layout. So it's it comes packed with the responsive CSS layout that I really like. It's really lightweight, and this less pre uh, CSS processor. So why don't we go and upload? Oh, I actually didn't even. I'm gonna pause it real quick and add. Well, let me. Yeah, I'm going to add it real quick, but I got to get my password. So I'm going to pause it real quick. I'll be right back once I add the site. All right, so I got the site up, and here's the directory. And let's go into the themes. Let's drop this in. Let that upload. And at the same time, we also need to install uh, WP Less. So let's go to Plugins. Add new. All right, so that's good. Also, I want to change the permalinks. Right, that's important. I want to get rid of, okay, that's good. Uh, reading, I want to bump this up uh, I have a specific way I like to use WordPress it's not as a blog it's more as like a CMS so even though this is gonna be a blog technically in the back end it's gonna function more like a CMS I think I don't even know yet so um, now there's a bunch of plugins I have like this this st WordPress start and I have my theme and I have all these plugins I love to install right off the bat um, but right now it doesn't really look like I, could, I need any of them. Maybe just WordPress SEO I'll install. Since this is not a client's site, this is actually my site. So WordPress SEO by Yoast is definitely my favorite and my favorite WordPress plugin and I, I recommend it I dabble a little bit of SEO I have a couple clients I do SEO for them as well and I just love WordPress SEO so we want to do that we also want to add I use stat counter a bit I like it. it's a little easier to use now Google Google Analytics though I use Google Analytics as well but just for you know quick uh, quick updates to see traffic I uh, I use stack counter so I'll set that up later but I just wanted to get that installed let's see if the okay this is all up let's change the theme oops sorry 
change it to Starkers. I'll leave the links in the video for you guys. Widgets. We want to get rid of all the widgets that come default. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll just get rid of it for now. So I really went in and really like with this theme, like even the like loop page or whatever, I I mean I already made it all responsive, so it's so it's good to go. So even right now if you load reload this, it'll be yeah, see it is it is uh responsive already. So that's good. So I want to get rid of this default post here. We'll make a page. We'll get rid of this. Start with home. We'll actually say site. Under construction. We will uh, make that the static page instead of just the latest post so I can customize it. Because then we'll go in here, we'll make a new file, home.php. We will um, go here to page. We'll go to one column. I still gotta uh, home page, and that's fine for now. And so now this is a custom uh, template named home, and we'll go back here to pages. I should have done that first, so I can pick it from here. Well, we'll click home page, update it, and now now we can see. Uh, you know, if I make a change here, you'll see it on the side. I don't have to show you guys. You know that. So let's refresh here, and oh, we'll also go to menus. to save that and we'll add home here save the menu and so this is the uh, well you know we'll also add my um, my logo that I made in 10 minutes Hope you guys like it. Okay. Let's get rid of the background. Save it. Oh, that's way too big. Um, wow, 4,000. Let we want maybe we want to center it, I think. And we'll make it maybe 400 for now. Now 350. Yeah, we'll make it 350. We'll save it. That looks good. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, save it. H to the ML logo. Okay. And we'll come back in here. Go to header. Well, first, I want to run it through tinypng.org, compress it a little more. Sometimes this site's great. Sometimes it'll for big PNG files, it's great. For smaller ones, it's not that great. Okay, but still, it went. It took 55% of uh, oops, 55% of my file size. Great site. I'll put that in the show notes as well. Uh, what the heck was I doing? Okay, yeah. So we'll go here. We'll take the HTML. Oh no, this is it right here, so we'll delete that one. 
rename that. See, 2KB, love it. Go here. And right now, I already, you know, like I said, I customized it. I'm hiding the H1, displaying the uh, home. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. I actually made this with, well, this tutorial's over, but kind of, sort of, but this is so cool. When I, I, I made the, the um, logo in mind with Google Web Fonts so that I don't have to, you know, copy and paste the logo. I can just use a web font. So what did I call it? B oh, what was it? Uh, ben B-E Bevan, I think. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, Bevan. Bevan. Yep, okay. So Bevan, we're going to add that. We're going to use, hopefully it's not too big. Okay, oh, 48. Ouch. That's big. Whatever. Okay. That's fine. So we'll use Bevan for my logo. So I'll copy that. Put it up here. Actually. And then we'll take that, put it on my style.less. We'll do uh, at main font or uh, title font. Now this is getting into the less. So then we'll do here, we'll do uh, logo. Or we'll do H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, or just H5, logo, font family, at title font, right? And then we go here and we go, uh, eight, or H1. Now we'll just do span that logo. I don't know. Some people use H1 for the title of the page. I'm just going to use the logo. And then we'll do H or H. Oh no. Yeah. H to the ML. Hopefully that'll come out in text. I don't know if that's going to come out in the text. Let's see. I didn't think about that. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to use the uh, greater than, less than. So what is it? At greater than or no, less than at greater than I think that's it yeah that's it alright and it's actually not capitalized it is ml h to the ml loving it already and then in photoshop now I'll, I'll end here but now you have a WordPress theme, just scratch. I mean, you guys can do whatever you want with this. It's bare bones, it's responsive, and hope you guys learned something, maybe a little, maybe some, really this is really for the tools. So if you're going to make a logo, it's cool to make a logo in mind with Google Web Fonts, so you can have that, uh, so you don't have to have a picture for your logo. Also, um, the Starker's theme we learned about. We learned about the Aeon Responsive Framework, which I will link to. We learned about WP Less, which you can use lot you can use less CSS live on a WordPress site with the plugin. And we learned a couple basic things here, you know, in setting the permalinks and just deleting everything 
you know, just starting from scratch. So I hope you guys learned something, and uh, feel free to ask questions. Uh, I will answer them if I can. Thanks.